What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Kevin here with another video just for you. And today I wanted to talk about the most important exercises that will change your physique. I just want to start off this video by saying that you don't have to change your workouts every week or you don't have to follow any new bandwagon kind of training routine. You don't have to fall for the hype. The basic foundation of your training will always remain the same throughout the, your whole routine. The movement patterns of your body, they won't change. Your, your anatomy is your anatomy. And you just have to get strong at foundational movement patterns. These movement patterns, they translate into uh, exercises. And uh, the exercises that I will share with you will give you the most bang for your buck. And if you actually just focus on these exercises, even without doing anything else, will create an amazing physique. Getting strong at these foundational movements will change your body. So let's get into it. Um, first one is the chin up. The chin up is the king of pulling of upper body pulling movements in my opinion. Why? Because it is the only movement that, uh, and I mean compound movement, that lets your lats go through full range of motion. Rows don't do that, and deadlifts don't do that. They let your lats go through full range of motion, and that translates into better and actually optimal growth. So they contribute to the best lat growth that you can get. And because you are also flexing your elbow, they are also a tremendous bicep builder. You're actually doing a heavier, a heavier form of curls. So, um, the weighted chin up. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to say. If body weight chin ups get too easy for you and you can do eight to 10 body weight uh, chin ups with ease, invest in a weight belt and attach some weight to it so that you can get stronger. Try to focus between five and eight reps because I will explain it in, a, in another video. That is a very easy rep range to both gain muscle and get strong without doing a shit ton of sets. So the weighted chin up, great movement for back development, for your lats, for uh, supporting muscles in your back like the scapular muscles, your rhomboids, rear delts and a great tool in developing your bicep number two now that we have our back covered with the best back exercise ever we have to develop a strong pushing foundation and that will be done by doing a bench press or an incline barbell bench press you can also do it with dumbbells it doesn't matter but some sort of horizontal push that can be a bench press an incline bench press or a weighted push-up anything that is a compound horizontal pushing movement that is essential to, to develop a good chest and let's be honest every guy wants to have a solid chest so the bench press will does a great job at developing your pushing muscles your uh, your pecs your front delt and your tricep. And getting a strong tricep is also very essential for arm development because contrary to, to what many people believe, the bicep is not the biggest upper arm muscle the tricep is. So develop a strong triceps by getting strong at uh, foundational pushing movements, such as the bench press, and your triceps will also grow. Um, the third exercise is the overhead press. The overhead press will develop an amazing shoulder girdle. You will essentially hit all three heads of the shoulder muscles. So the front delt, the lateral delt, and the rear delt. You will also train your traps. And actually it's a full body movement because when you perform the overhead press standing, which is my preferred way. You also have to brace your core, you have to squeeze your glutes, you have to use every muscle in your body to support the weight. 
it's just a full body athletic movement that will develop uh, more than just a shoulder girdle but it's predominantly a shoulder and upper body exercise and that's it uh, by doing the bench press you will develop great chest and you will develop a, uh, a solid uh, overall chest growth but the overhead press will also help to fill in the part of muscle just under your clavicle so that you will have a full chest development they are uh, complementary to each other so um, why not have best of both worlds just do them both you won't see any disadvantage and then D the, so that in my opinion is the foundation to build a fantastic upper body the chin up the bench press and the overhead press then let's go to the lower body there's actually only one movement that you should do to develop a solid uh, lower body and that is the squat the squat will develop most of the big muscles in your lower body and it will just make sure that your quads and it will make sure that you have a solid uh, lower body foundation if you don't squat you won't maximize maximize your uh, lower body growth and if you have low, uh, ankle mobility issues or you have some um, issues with range of motion so that you can go as to grass you can also it doesn't matter what you do you can do front squats you can do back squats you can do if you have ankle mobility issues split squats they are all fantastic in, in developing great legs you know there is no right or wrong way to do it just do what what feels right for you and your body um, but either way if you want to maximize lower body um, muscular development you just have to squat it's there's no way around it um, also squatting will just make you more athletic in general because you will have more explosivity you will have stronger legs more functional legs uh, by squatting you have to use your core you have to brace your core you will develop your spinal erectors the squat has all kinds of benefits and if you're not squatting I know it's hard I know it it, it takes some mental strength to do it on a consistent basis but your body will thank you for it just make sure not to go too heavy in the beginning and just uh, learn the proper form always take a weight that you can handle with proper form and once your form is in check and you can control the weight you can uh, use the right muscles you have a solid muscle mind connection and your nervous system is uh, on its way to handle bigger weights then you can increase the weight but always learn proper technique that also goes for the upper body exercises so the foundation of exercise selection to transform your body and to change your physique is quite simple it's these four exercises it is the chin up or weighted chin up for overall back development and bicep development the bench press uh, or uh, incline bench press for uh, or if you want to do a body weight exercise the push up weighted push up uh, for chest development it's simply the best chest builder uh, that there is uh, front delt development and tricep development then the overhead press for strong shoulder girdle and also tricep development and for the lower body the squat those four exercises will be the basis to transform your body and just to make the list complete Add in rows you can do bodyweight rows barbell rows dumbbell rows doesn't matter why because they will also help to develop your mid back and they will give you a more fuller rear delt look because they will pump up your rear delt uh, it will make your shoulders look more full and more aesthetic and a great supplementary exercise for the squat is the Romanian deadlift why is that the squat will uh, develop most of the big musculatures in your lower body but when doing a squat even as the grass you won't fully activate the hamstrings uh, and a Romanian deadlift does just that it takes your hamstrings through a full range of motion it also engages the core the glutes um, 
the traps it's great trap builder uh, it's also a movement that will stimulate a lot of different uh, overall growth in your body and it's a great exercise to supplement your squat with and a nice bonus is when you develop a strong squat and a strong Romanian deadlift that combination will automatically translate in a big conventional deadlift without training your nervous system uh, okay so that's that um, I've given you six exercises that uh, will transform your physique if you even if you wouldn't add isolation exercises or any additional exercises if you just focus on these exercises getting strong on these adding weight on these um, combined with the right nutritional uh, nutritional strategies it's inevitable that you will gain muscle all right and if you want to uh, structure a program around it simple just uh, split up the exercises like day one chin up overhead press romanian deadlift or even conventional deadlift and the second day you do bench press you do rows and you do the squat that's about it right guys focus on these exercises get strong on them combine the right nutritional strategies if you want to bulk, uh, depending on whether you want to bulk or cut that's about it these exercises are all you need these will be the foundation of your whole training career okay when you get more advanced you you will have to make several adaptations but not really an, ex an exercise selection you don't have to switch exercise selection uh, each week you don't have to switch from doing uh, your exercises each week the movement pattern has to say has to stay the same uh, the only reason why you would switch exercises um, and that's more when you are in, in an advanced stage is to avoid overuse injuries is to avoid uh, like tendonitis or any other kind of overuse injury but the basic foundation of your training will always remain the same the big movement patterns translated in these exercises that i just mentioned to you and yeah get strong on these and the results will follow Guys, thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, excuse my English sometimes. It isn't my first language. But hey, I'm trying to bring, bring out a good vibe. Provide you with good information. And uh, guys, see you at the next video. Take care. Cheers.